The girl I spoke with says about 50 letters were given to the school, each one detailing their own sexual assault. The girl I spoke with wrote one of those letters. She says her story starts when she was a sophomore. She is now 22. And at first I was really scared because honestly, it's just really traumatizing to have to deal with it again. It's been a long time um, and I don't like to even think about what happened. A former Mount St. Mary student speaking out years after she says she was sexually assaulted on a school bus by another student. She didn't want her face or voice revealed. She says the incident was reported immediately to school officials. And I told them everything, every detail um, about what happened, where it happened, when it happened, who did it. But she says nothing happened. And so I kept quiet for a long time. Now, years later, after the letters, the school conducted an independent investigation. The principal has resigned, school officials stating they, quote, could have done better when the allegations were first brought to them. The administration at that school definitely needs some revamping, needs some help because the way that they are dealing with these situations for so many girls in particular is just not safe and it's not effective. Now she and dozens of other girls are working to get change. So I think right now the most important thing for me is I want to support this movement. I want change to come because I never want another girl, another student to have to deal with this. The girl I spoke with says it is now too late for her to report it to police. School officials say they turned over all their findings from their investigation over to the Oklahoma City Police Department, but they did not give them the letters. The police department says there is currently no investigation because they do not have any victims.